the way I always approach it is we see all those the, the amazing battle scenes that you see in in Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, all our favorite franchises. The big ones, not the little ones where Vipers are taking out little silent ships, but Battlestar against a base ship, or the Wrath of Khan battle, or uh, Imperial Star Destroyers against Rebel Alliance ships, right? Those, those are the big moments in every movie, the turning point in every movie. movie yeah. We wanted to play that. I think the simplest way of looking at the game is that it's Battlestars versus Base Stars. And I think everything kind of came out of wanting to create a game that had. Uh, like the fidelity of, sh of taking the shot, the accuracy of aiming a specific, at a specific target. So we have ships with you know, massive numbers of turrets on. You want to aim at a specific point, so we wanted that skill, that ability. But we wanted to counter that with a capital ship's ability to, do, to respond to almost any situation. So you have large capital ships, they're over a kilometre long, they've got five or six different systems, they can launch fighters, they can launch drop ships, they have big guns, they have the ability to take out your engine or shut down your weapon systems. So just these really huge complex ships and get two teams and get them to fight it out. And that kind of is the game in a nutshell. I think the, the things you were saying about uh, being influenced by big ship battles in like movies and TV and things like that, one of the things that I kept remembering when we were first doing all this is mm. I used to play a board game called Starfleet Battles yeah, yeah. and that board game what's in my head then when I was I don't know 14 15 is now what we're doing kind of and it's like just imagining these huge vast spaceships sort of duking it out but in their pace with all their complex systems with their crew all running around and vanishing out it's, of their it's the same and in that isn't it it's like you've got the you've got these large massive large ships but it's all about orientation yeah. and you have the time for that to come to matter it's not like somebody's going to run past you, shoot you, and fly off again. You're you're alive long enough that you can think about I need to turn my weak side away or bring my guns to bear or you know get full fire strength. And I think it's those kind of strategy decisions that we inherit from strategy games and, and RGSs. Yeah, and that's a big thing when we were all talking about this originally. Is you know people might be thinking why why not go with dogfighting and and so on. One of the biggest things about going with big capital ships is that the the uh, strength of tactical, you know, gameplay on your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay just can be so much more than what is effectively in lots of the dogfighting ones. More like World War II airplanes in space, which is what all dogfighting people's minds is, kind of thing. Whereas a big ship is more like a naval ship, so it's got, you know, it's got loads of different systems for loads of different activities. Anything from like, you, know, you see those ones with little mini guns on the side to knock down missiles, but they've also got the big cannons, and they've also got torpedoes and depth charges and yeah. helicopters sat on the back. It's that that is more the sort of uh, similar. Yeah, I mean, there's also and there's a legacy thing as well, which is we've made a dogfighting game and made a there's that too, and um, you know a fast-paced action game. It's very intense and uh, it's a very sort of hardcore gamer. But while we were making it, we had capital ships with 30, 40 turrets on. We had these. Again, they're not quite as long as the ones we're making now, but you know, near kilometre long, 800 meter long ships. And there's always the back of mind that you want to be flying this thing. You're in this little fight and you're flying the big thing. We were aware, we were aware making the game that there are a lot of challenges in doing that. It's not just putting a controller on the ship, it's getting it to feel right, getting it to look right on the camera, getting the systems in. And uh, But it was, it was always there as a niggling thing and it kind of grew, I think. Um, when James originally had the idea for this, we kind of started addressing those problems and we kind of like trying to figure out how to solve them. How do you solve scale on a player ship? How do you get something this big in the world to make it feel that big? Still and working on that one. We're getting there. Well, it just, you, you, yeah. you, get, you get the solutions in and it just goes another leap. Like, um, when we talk about the ships, they always have launch bays. We want to launch, we launch fighters. You want to capture somewhere, you launch a drop ship. And a lot of these are automated systems, but it puts small things in next to your big ship. And that gives you a sense of scale. That gives you... The scenes we saw in Strike Suit, where you had a lot of fighters flying around at Muge, or a big, you know, a big capital ship, um, we create those from the point of view where you're the big ship, you're launching the fighters, and you're taking on the other guys. And it's just, it really does add something to it. Um, yeah, there's just so much to talk about, really. Yeah, you know, there is, oh, there's always there's always something to say, but um, but uh, save well, let's save for the next video. Okay.